Hello Frisco Raccoons. I'm excited to talk to you a little bit about and introducing a topic that's very near and dear to my heart. You guys are about to embark on a little bit of lessons about grit. Grit's important to me. The reason why they call me Dr. Perry is that I have to go through a uh, series of courses and classes, but at the end I have to write this book and it's called a dissertation. Funny enough, I chose to write my dissertation about grit. In fact, on the first page where I have an abstract, it says Grit is a trait level, perseverance, and passion for long-term goals. Grit's important to me because I failed college algebra four times, and I finally passed it on the fifth time. I'm a kind of guy that fights and works and solves my problems. And the reason why I have that ability to do that is because I have developed grit in my life that I set my long-term goals, and that I put little benchmarks in there to try to accomplish that one after another. And when you do that, you're gritty. But if you just try to do one time and you give up, that's not, that's not grit. So listen to what you're about to hear over the next 10 minutes, because this kind of stuff will change your life, I promise. Grit is a combination of passion and perseverance in an effort to achieve long-term goals. Without passion, perseverance leads to burnout because you're not motivated to achieve your goals. And without perseverance, we simply give up. Grit develops a mental toughness that enables people to persist and succeed in the face of adversity. Good afternoon, my name is Mark Allison. I was in Mr. Langston's 2010 uh, sports marketing class as well as a couple other classes. Uh, he asked me and some of the other alumni to make a video about grit. Grit to me is perseverance to pursue despite obstacles. It's delaying an immediate gratification for a futuristic goal. Hey y'all, my name is Muriel Bonick. I am a part of the Frisco High School graduating class of 2011. I was a student of Mr. Langston's and I was also part of DECA, the cheer team and the stars dance team. I'm just here to let you all know my own personal definition of the word grit. So to have grit, um, I believe that is to be able to persevere through any adversity that may be coming your way when you're trying to get to a main goal or just maybe something that you just really want. It's just having that strength and that courage to just say, yeah, this is tough right now, but I know that with hard work, with perseverance, being resilient, I can reach that goal. Hey, what's up, FHS? My name is Taylor B. I was a 2011 uh, alumni of Frisco High School. I was in DECA. I was in Mr. Langston's class. I was in cheer. I was in choir. I was in Pretty much everything. I am now the director of social for TSR Teens at the Shade Room. And Mr. Langston asked us to give you guys our um, definition of what grit is. And for me, grit is not only the courage it takes to do something, but the passion and the follow through of that courage. So a lot of times you might have the courage to do something, but you don't see it through. And so for grit to me is someone that sees that finish line and really goes for it, really um, takes that extra step to be the best version of themselves and be the best version of a team. Hello everybody, my name is Dylan Horton. I graduated from Frisco High School in 2018. I spent two years at University of New Mexico and three years at TCU, and now I'm currently in the NFL. Um, my personal definition of grit is resilience in a tough situation. You know, whenever things get hard or you're following your dreams, it's important to withstand challenges, get up when you're knocked down, and believe in yourself regardless of the situation. Hey, Frisco High School. My name is Michael Geraldo Santana, and I graduated in the class of 2015. I know Mr. Langston from our four years in DECA, as well as I help participate in the store. I don't know if it's still there at Frisco High School. So I was asked to help define what grit means to me. To me, it means having courage, perseverance, resilience, and passion to truly go for your goals. Now it's striving for that future day in and day out, no matter how long it takes and no matter how much work it takes to get there. Now you will have bumps along the way and you will have failures but it's getting up from those, it's learning from them, becoming a better person and continue striving to reach those goals 
and make that future a reality. Hi, Frisco Raccoons. My name is Maria Lawson, and I'm currently a deputy editor for People Newspapers in Dallas. I define grit as using perseverance to achieve a goal. Hi, my name is Ben Angel. I'm currently a second year master's student at the University of Arkansas, uh, studying poultry nutrition. Uh, I'm currently at the pilot processing plant uh, here at the U of A. We just got done uh, measuring yield performance on broilers, which are meat chickens, uh, with differing amino acid density diets. Uh, when I think of grit, not only do the teachers at Frisco High School dealing with me come to mind, uh, but all the moments uh, throughout my education and different internships and jobs where I felt like, man, this is hard, man, this is grueling, uh, I don't want to do this. I, I think of, you know, in my program we do a, a lot of physical labor, uh, uh, working at farms, working at processing plants, uh, taking care of chickens, feeding them, making feed, all things of that nature. And a lot of times, you know, our backs start hurting, our legs start aching, and it can be difficult. It can for, for sure be difficult because on top of that, we have school, we have classes, we have uh, journal articles to read and write, and it's not easy. Uh, but I'm reminded of something uh, quite often, which is a poster I saw in Coach Weirwan's classroom, which is uh, had the quote by John Wayne that says, courage is being scared to death but saddling up anyway. So best of luck to all of you and hope you uh, succeed in your endeavors. So currently I'm a machinery engineer at ExxonMobil. And as a freshman coming into college, I've always wanted to work for ExxonMobil just given that the energy needs that the world has. So going into my freshman year, um, I didn't have the GPA in order to get into ExxonMobil and I didn't have the connections. So my goal was not only tied to my career path, but also to my academic career. So it was nonstop studying, understanding exactly where my gaps were um, within my knowledge, going to the study hours, staying up long nights, and of course, talking to the TAs and getting that better understanding in order to reach my academic goals for my career goals. Um, and in the end, I was able to graduate with my mechanical engineering degree uh, with cum laude. And I was also able to get that interview with ExxonMobil, uh, which I'm currently working in now, and it's truly been a blessing and I'm truly grateful for the opportunities and the grit to continuously move forward. I use grit in my daily life when I'm pursuing challenging stories and working toward personal goals. So at a time in my life where I have demonstrated grit, I would definitely say it would be when I was pregnant with my twins. Um, they were a complete surprise, um, but there is just a lot of complications to getting them here. At 21 weeks pregnant, I had to undergo an emergency surgery to just help stop my twins arriving early. Demonstrated a lot of grit, a lot of strength, a lot of resilience. It was so hard that I was on bed rest in the hospital for seven weeks. So I was away from my husband and my oldest child for the very first time in her lives. Also, more resilience, more perseverance. And then of course I went to early labor and gave birth to my twins at 34 weeks in four days. And they had to spend some time in the NICU, but we're all here, we're all healthy. And that is all that counts. And that is where I demonstrated great in my life. So one of the ways I demonstrated grit would probably the most recent example I can think of was my current job and my current role. Um, at the time, I didn't want to apply for it. It had 300 applicants. It had been up for three months. I was like, they're done with the process. But I still gave it my all. I still like showed my passion. I still tried to like show what I could do in that role and was able to get that role. So I would say whatever you're thinking about doing and whatever you set your mind to, not only like have a goal, but like you got to show people that you're supposed to be in the rooms that you're in. Grit to me is the ability to persevere and adapt to whatever situation may come and just the ability to overcome whatever happens.
In my life, in my sports, such as football and baseball, uh, just the ability to kind of adapt to whatever situation comes, whether the the opposing offense is running a new play that we haven't seen before, just the ability to adapt on the go and just kind of work through it and do whatever you need to do to get it done. My definition of grit is someone who can persevere through harder situations and be able to go through it with a positive mindset, be able to grow through it and learn from it. I personally think I've applied grit through my life, especially through drill team. I feel we have to like overcome certain situations. Maybe a girl gets hurt randomly or we have to fix a formation pretty quick. And I feel like it's my job as a leader on the team to go through with a positive mindset and be able to kind of figure things out on my own while also making it effective. My definition of grit would be working through things even whenever it's uh, hard just for the purpose of you know it's going to be better for you in the end and that it's going to be a positive outcome for you. Or in a way I apply it would be working on my grades and doing homework and having to meet deadlines and due dates and whatever and having to push through all the tiredness and wanting not to do any schoolwork and just having to finish that out. And then in football, uh, you just have to be tough. And then getting to early morning lifts is one thing that I would say I apply grit for, just because waking up at seven o'clock isn't always fun. So I just gotta push through it just because I know it's gonna make me better. Uh, applying it to life in general isn't always easy. If it's work or friends or like anything that you're doing, you can really apply it because It'll just make you push through things that you don't want to do. For example, going to work or working late shifts or um, having to figure out things with buddies or whatever. It's just all to make it make you better, make you a better person. And it's all for the positive. So you just got to apply grit even whenever you don't want to. Yeah, so to me, my definition of grit is just the aspect of perseverance. Life's not always going to be easy. And I mean, if you just push through, the grass will be greener on the other side. So, I mean, for me, I apply grit every day. Um, going on that football field every day, I mean, it's hard. It's definitely not an easy, an easy experience. And so, I mean, if you just apply grit, you know, you're, you'll get better and you'll grow as a player. A lot of my grit's definitely focused in school, but also in work. Um, I mean, definitely balancing my school life, knowing that I'm gonna have these assignments, getting ready for college. Um, but, you know, when you have grit, you can persevere through all that and really just lead a balanced lifestyle. Grit to me means being faced with adversity and being able to have the determination to work through any of the problems you're facing. If you're having any challenges in any classes, it's easy to just give up and being like, oh, well, I'm not gonna study hard or like work hard to do well. But if you don't know something right away, it, taking the time to either like study for it or ask for help, and that's having grit to work through those problems. I do feel that grit is an attitude. It's easy to be in the mind space where you don't want to work hard or fight through any type of adversity or problems. But having like a mindset with grit is that you see those problems and you face them head on and you work through them. We talk to our players a lot about grit and what it means and it's actually uh, our fourth core value. Uh, it's very important to us. Uh, to, to me, there's two parts. There's the perseverance part that uh, helps you get through the tough times and, and then there's the determination part that helps you overcome and achieve some goals that maybe some other people won't be able to achieve because they don't have the grit. And having grit is uh, a choice that they have to make. It's, it's all up to them.